Okay, so uh, here we are on the build of Big CV2. Um, what we've done is we've changed it. The last one was glass um, and carbon. This one we've gone for aluminium. So it's got the fit the keel. Obviously, we knew last year we had a slight problem with the keel issue. So this one is all in one. The whole build is in one piece. Um, all the lead and weight is uh, encapsulated in the keel. So there'll be no issues like that. What we've done is we've varied the design as well. So the design of the last one, we had tubes on the outside, which actually was Tom McNally's design. Um, this one's totally my own design, um, worked along with Jerome um, in France, who's designed it as well. And what we've done is we've incorporated all the things that we had potential issues with last time, or most of them. Every design has got some slight compromises in. So the main thing, obviously, um, thick aluminium hull on it. Um, We've got then coming around, we've, as per the last boat, what we had was the big tubes on the side, which were for stability and we thought a sponsor was gonna come on for board for it. This time we've incorporated those so I can get to absolutely everything. These are gonna be the internal space for all my food and everything and individual bulkheads. So if this, bulk, this, this bulkhead leaks, or sorry, this section leaks, it will just flood this. These are going to have watertight hatches in, so everything is going to be individual. There's actually more uh, waterproof sections in this one than we had on the last boat. And then coming round onto the deck, what we've done is solar panels were always, and the solar side of things were always going to be the hard side with V1. So what we've done with this one is we've actually got this section um, that the solar panels will be bonded on. So I'm gonna have a, I think it's 50 watt here, a 50 watt on the other side. We've got a bigger area for my navigation systems. This is gonna be enclosed and it's just there so that we can access it for when we're building and for when we're um, installing all the electrics. My vents are the same system as last time, but what we've done is we've also increased the freeboard of the boat. So the boat will be fra fractionally, well, it will be higher out of the water. These are the mast tubes. We've now changed the design from last time. We've got rubber flexible joints here to hold the outriggers, which are gonna be bolted here. Obviously well, that's the um, uh, vent intakes. And then the hatch is gonna be mounted in there. And then what I've got as well is inside, I've got a whole host of separate compartments. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, separate compartments inside the boat. Um, in the hull alone so we're not going to have the bolt issue that we had of last time which hands up was my mistake but as I'm sure you all know um, had some quite um, um, how do I say it? Uh, uh, something specific well my, my father passed away two days before we took the last boat and rightly wrongly head was in the wrong space and I uh, sort of bolt off twice and then we had to improvise in Canada which was the, com the start of the problems and that actually obviously then we had to lift the boat out um, because it had taken some water on and then on lifting the boat out um, the straps broke the boat fell and then we had to start hey we don't know if it was for the best um, this year I'm in a completely different space um, I've had no problems this year everything's relaxed everything's chilled and we're just getting on with the build so 2025 May 2025 come see us out in St John's and then August September time we'll be back in um, uh, England somewhere England Ireland Wales um, with this one oh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but it's over there. It's, yeah, it's only a little bit.